I was in Prisoner of Second Avenue on Broadway. It was a two-character play. It was Peter Falk and myself. And Mike Nichols directed it, and the second act starts with the woman coming in. She's been at a job. She's working now because he's having a nervous breakdown, and she takes off her coat. She has a two-page monologue telling him how her day was, and in the meantime, she pours out tomato juice for him. She makes a, a, a sandwich for him. She opens the... Uh, microwave and puts that in and all the time she's talking and it's really a tour de force it's like in ballet it would be the leading dancer coming in and, and suddenly as I'm giving him the tomato juice I blank I blank three more performances left I blank here's your tomato juice and I'm smiling and Peter's looking at me and I'm thinking he'll save me of course actors always save other actors and he didn't and he couldn't. He couldn't. I kept saying, here's your tomato juice. And, you know, this awful time suddenly swells between us where we not, neither of us know what to do. And he turns to the audience and he goes, and I felt like I was being turned into the Un-American Activities Committee. Mm. My husband on stage, my fellow actor has broken the fourth wall, has turned to those people out there and turned me in. And it was such a throwback to the Un-American Activities Committee. I didn't know how to pull myself together. Eventually we have to let the curtain go down, start when the whole monologue is over, and, uh, and that's how we did all of the last couple of shows. That killed your theater career? Yes, that did.